been a while since I made a video, maybe about like a year or two. But yeah, um, I'm going to continue my NAT build. I finally have some time and I finally gathered some more parts that I needed for the kit or the build. But uh, let me give you guys a refresh of what I have. So here's my car. This is a 1995 Lexus SE300 uh, with a five speed. All right, so the motor is all stock right now. All in A. Still has the distributor on there. material maybe like two or three videos ago took this motor and i've just been collecting parts ever since but um right now i am looking for a drain hose for the old drain but what i have here is let me show you real quick so for the turbo for the drain I'm using a Dodge Cummins drain that goes into a barb fitting at the end. And then for my oil drain from the pan, I'm using the barb fitting too. So this screws off. Uh, you can get this fitting on eBay. They're about like 50 bucks. So it comes with this and that. And also comes with the gasket and the bolt. But what you have to do is, uh, I'll show you right here. So you're gonna have to drill this hole and then tap these holes right here. I believe it's a M8125, the thread pitch for this. And then for this hole, you can drill it out to like a seven eight so, which I'm gonna do later. This is just the mock-up, so we're how long I need the hoses for the drain. But yeah, that's my current situation right now. Uh, I'm about to go to the store to look for a hose, so I need to take this off. Actually, leave this bolt in. But yeah, uh, I'm gonna walk you through around what I currently have, what I currently don't have. So, I have the turbo. I have the turbo manifold, I have the wastegate, I have the wastegate dump tube, I also have the downpipe, and then for the ECU, I'm running a Aristo TT ECU, this was rebuilt by Relentless Motorsports, and I got this from Will, I don't know if you guys watch this channel i got this from him built alliance a while back also got the uh i got a lot of things in here uh so this is my oil feed line that's gonna be right there and for the oil feed i'm using a glow shift sandwich plate that i got off of ebay i think it was like 40 50 bucks here's the part number you guys got that. And then for the Aristo ECU, it runs off a map sensor. So your stock map or math won't work. So you're gonna need one of these Toyota math sensors. Make sure you get them OEM because these ECUs, they're finicky with the map sensor. So there's the part number again. Go. Uh, let's see. And I also have a DS62 igniter. You guys can see that. And just an oil filter. So we have a AM wide band. I don't want to take it out right now. I wrapped it up earlier. Shit. 
That's the AM wide band. Let's just have it in here. I didn't have a box that came with it. So I'm putting all my parts together. Boost gauge. This is just a simple like eBay boost gauge. Nothing fancy. I think this was like 30, 40 bucks on eBay. It's gonna work for now until I upgrade. So I have to run the AutoZone to get that that oil hose. Maybe like a feet or maybe two feet and then cut it. Figure out how the oil drain set up will be right when I get back. All right, so I'm on my way to uh, AutoZone to get these fittings. I'm gonna drive the 400 today. It's crazy. It's uh, 249,000 miles on this thing. And it still runs like a champ. And it has AC. All right, guys, so I just got out of AutoZone. The hose, they didn't have the, uh, they didn't sell it by the foot. So I had to get some, uh, I'm not even sure what it was, but that's a part number. It turned out to be $14, which isn't too bad. All right, guys, so I'm back in the garage. I got the hose. So I measured this from here. And then the bottom of this hose right here, not the bottom, but like this little marker here, I feel like this should be enough to reach the drain. So I'm gonna cut this out and we'll mock it up. See how it looks like. All right, guys. So I cut the hose already. I cut about maybe a foot off of it. And that's pretty much all I need. Doesn't look too bad, so. It clears these runners so it doesn't melt. I'm probably gonna get some heat wrap and wrap this around right here. It's all the way down here. But uh, here's what it looks like. You can tell like the flow of it will be pretty good. There's no restrictions on it. The cool thing about these Dodge Clemens drain is they're flexible so you can bend it and maneuver it how much as you want. But yeah. So for this build, I'm just gonna do it by part. So this part is just gonna be the oiling system. And then I'm gonna run the feed line up here. And that'll be it. And then maybe the next video, it's gonna be me putting the oil pan inside the car and then mocking this up. And then I believe part three is gonna be wiring. And then part four will be starting the car. So you guys stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe, like the video, you know. Like always, deuces.